Hey friends, okay, so this video is gonna have a lot of information, but we have so many new people and people who've been in here who are re-engaging with their journeys and I just have a whole bunch of stuff on my brain and I'm just gonna put it out there. So take what you need, cool beans. So first of all, first big thing I want everyone to know, which you probably do, but that's okay, let's go. Um, Beachbody has completely revamped their new coach training system. So there used to be a, I would send an email out and then there was a, the first 30, it was the first 30 minutes, the first 30 days, the first 30 hours. Um, and they have removed all that. So yesterday I shared a post on how to find this in your coach online office, but you just log into your coach online office and you click on the training tab and it's right there. So at some point I want all of us, no matter how long you've been here to go through it because it's kind of a good reminder. And sometimes when you're brand new, there's so much information. It can be really, really like overwhelming and it's hard to take things. It's hard to process it. And then once you've been around a while, you go back through training and you're like, Oh, that makes so much more sense. So that's your first thing I'm asking you to do is to schedule it into your life to do that new coach training. And you know what? I haven't done it yet. So I don't know how much of a time chunk it's going to be, but this is development. This is part of your personal development. There's personal development and there's also business development. And I think that it's, it's a great idea to kind of toggle them so that you're developing yourself as a person, but you're also learning some tricks and some things that will help you move your business along. And the big thing, the big trick with that, the secret sauce is that you actually apply what you're learning. Same thing with your personal development. Like if you're just a book whore and you're taking in all this information, but you're never actually applying it, you're not going to move yourself any further along on your journey. The other day there was a team passion power hour. Um, and I shared those posts in this group as well, but you can go over to Team Passion if you don't already belong there, request to join. That's one of our parent groups. Um, and Nicole Jones has always has lots of great trainings and stuff going on over there. It's a great place to ask questions as well. Um, anyway, uh, Viviana had, she made a live video over there, which was awesome. And I finally had time to watch it yesterday. Thank you for tagging me again. I appreciate it. Um, and she was talking about how she doesn't ever, she is like me, my soul sister, where it's never enough where like you feel guilty resting and sitting and there's always the next thing to be doing. And I'm going to talk about that in our fit club today because we have, you have to celebrate your little wins. Your, I filled out my business activity tracker or I sent out these messages. You have to celebrate those wins along the way to help you get momentum and to keep your morale up. Otherwise, if it's never enough, it's never enough. It's never enough. It will never be enough, no matter how much you grow and get better. Like, so that's something I'm working on. And that really resonated with me that she shared that. Um, so I'm encouraging all of you to find your victories in this. We talk about it all the time with our fitness journeys, but the same thing goes for your business journey. Like, Celebrate the fact that you are doing personal development. Celebrate the fact that you're using this business activity tracker, which by the way, this, if you don't know what this is, this is called the BAT, the daily BAT, the business activity tracker success club system. And it tells you what you need to do. And it tells you how much time to spend on it. And there's a checkbox for every single day. And so we actually have an accountability thread in this group. Um, where you just take a picture of it. And some of these things you might not do every single day. I'm encouraging you to do them because you know, it's pockets of time. You don't have to sit down in like hours and do this entire thing. It can be like, you know what? While I'm sitting in the car waiting to get my kids, I can do this part. Or while I'm in the bathroom, I can do this. Like there's little tiny pieces that fit in throughout your day. And I want you to fill it out every single day because it's going to show you the stuff you're nailing. And it's going to also show you the stuff that's your opportunity, the things that we need to do more of, which is probably invite and follow up. Um, so I actually, if you don't know where to find this, there's a pinned post that says October success club activity tracker or something or other here. Okay. It's a pinned post. And in that post, there's a link at the very top and all the words that I puke at you. And it, that's where you, um, that's where you can find it. And then I just have my husband print a bunch off, but there's, I guess you can use this on your, I don't know, some device if you want, whatever I'm pen to paper. I also, to keep myself super honest, because I'm a box checker instead of where it says on here, um, like invite blank people to join a challenge group or learn about coaching or the follow-ups instead of checking the box, I write how many. And if you've been around a while, you know, I just use a super fancy system, which is actually going to be changing, but this is what I do every single day. I have a 79 cent notebook from freaking Walmart. Keep it cheap. You're going to burn through these. Okay. Basic notebook. And every single day, 
I write a brand new page. I write the date. I write like a couple affirmations or, or whatever is my like to-do list, like the things I have to get done, places I need to post, stuff like that. Um, and then I go through, I use my business activity tracker. I send out happy birthday messages. I send out friend anniversary messages. Those are my connections. And then I write down how many on here. So I write their names, everyone that gets a message, every message I reply to, their name goes in here because that way you can track who you're having conversations with. I put little X's next to the names of people that are interested that I'm in a conversation with so that, you know, when I go actually have time to do this, I'm not like, Oh crap, who do I message? Like that's who I message. And every single day I use this, right? I check the box that I'm sharing about my journey and anybody that likes or comments on those posts, I send them a personal message thanking them and asking them how their journey is going. Just checking in, okay? I'm not asking them to buy something. I'm not asking them to necessarily join my group. I'm starting communication. I'm humaning with them, and that's what this business is. So if you're just going at it like super hard, inviting, 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 which is amazing, you need to invite, but I also want you to remember that they're a human, and it's kind of like when you're at the mall, and there's those, well, do malls even exist? I don't know, but you know how there'd be the people in the center aisle, and they'd be like trying to spray you with perfume, like you look away, you don't make eye contact, don't be that person. Slide into people's dis di district, slide into people's district managers, or not, wow, Starbucks brain fart. Slide into people's DMs, with a love note, with a thank you, I appreciate it. How are things going? How is the school year? Are you ready for fall? I can't believe it's October. Like, just be a freaking human. And if you're being consistent on your social media, sharing about your journey, sharing about the personal development you're doing and tying it into coaching, like I, as a coach, this is something cool I get to do. You just breadcrumb the journey. You don't puke beach body everywhere. We are not beach body pimps, okay? And I know I did that in the very beginning when I was a new coach. I think all of us do where you're like, here I am with my shank. Here I am with my DVDs or whatever, right? It's super normal. I did it. We all do it. But you have to think like, am I breadcrumbing my journey? Am I sharing about how this has transformed my life or how I'm feeling so good? Am I sharing my wins? Am I sharing my struggles? Am I sharing my real? Or am I hosing people with perfume? Okay? So... New coach training, make sure that you're using your business activity tracker. This is an amazing tool. This is an, and it's free. It's free. Okay. Um, something you need to know this month. Well, every single Monday we have a national wake up call and I shared that link earlier today. There's a lot of information in here, but there's a lot of new people. Okay. So just stay with me. National wake up call happens every single Monday. You can either listen to it. You can watch the, the video over on team beach body 411 on Facebook, or you can go to your podcast app on an iPhone. It's a purple button and you can download team beach body, um, podcast. That's what I did as a new coach. And I would listen to them over and just tons of them. There's they, this has been going on for forever. It used to be, you had to dial in on the phone. Ew, no. So now you can listen to a podcast. I love podcasts because you can speed it up. So you're listening at it. You're listening to it at one and a, one and a half speed or whatever, um, and you can skip. Like I listen to the announcements, but I skip. I skip the recognition. That's great. Way to go. I'm proud of you. But give me the meat. I'm here to learn. They tell you lots of great information. This Monday, they interviewed Amwala, who is the new super trainer, and his program came out. The early the early release launch started on Monday. So if you don't know anything about it, listen to it. Okay, I'm still listening to it. So you know, it's not like you failed. If you haven't gotten it done by Monday, it's okay. There's actually a box you can check over here on our friendly business activity tracker. Um, they also talked about beat your best. So, okay, so six weeks of the work is a new program coming out. It is not for beginners. It is for people who love fitness, for people who want to crush it. And that program in a challenge pack is on sale. The completion packs are on sale. You got a code in your email for a discount that you can, a discount code that you can use over and over and over and over. So if you have someone in your life that you think would love that, invite them. You don't have to necessarily be doing it. Like you can still invite them to a group or maybe that's the thing you're gonna do, whatever. That dovetails into the big contest happening this month, which is um, beat your best. So if you've been a coach for longer than a month, you have a best, you have volume that has been produced or you have success club numbers, which means that those are how many people you've helped get started with a challenge pack. Um, and so it's beat your best. You are always in competition with yourself. Just like with your fitness journey, you are in competition with yourself. It doesn't matter what anyone else is doing. It doesn't matter what those people over there on Instagram are doing or how much they're rocking it or all their polls. Don't get caught up in that. People 
Again, you're not a beach body pimp. People are going to want to work with you because you're consistent, because you are you, you're, you're authentically, unapologetically you. Dog mom, anxiety warrior, whatever, whoever you are, there are your people who need to know they can join you, that they can invite you. So be your best. Um, they have some like rewards and stuff and really it's just, you know, it's, it's a way to get momentum with your business. So I want everyone, I still have to do this. Um, I need to, they actually sent out emails telling you what your best was. And if you're brand new, cool, you're starting from a blank slate. So I'm going to say at a minimum, c commit to helping five people. Five people get started with a challenge pack. Five people starting coaching businesses alongside you. Can you figure it out together? That is going to more than pay for your shakes. It's gonna give you some really great momentum. And you know, that's what this business is about. It's about you being in competition with yourself and just getting better every single day. So beat your best is something to know about. I shared a post recently, just like a couple minutes ago, with all this stuff. You can always like search for the FAQ. Literally when I have any kind of question, I Google Team Beachbody, and then whatever my question is. Or I'll go into the um, my coach online office and there's a search bar and I'll enter it there and it'll bring up the FAQ. That's how I get my questions answered. So when you ask me things, more than likely, that's how I'm giving you the answer. Okay, so personal development. I just started a brand new book. This is a book I actually started, I actually read this book um, over a year ago, two years ago, because I was doing PTO. Two years ago, I read this book. It was good. Didn't, didn't set my soul on fire. I'm reading this book now and I'm like, yeah, so good. That's the cool thing about personal development. Sometimes it's going to rock your socks and then you'll, you'll, and other times it'll be like, uh. so if you have some personal development that you have a nudge to do, explore it just because it didn't speak to you before. It doesn't mean it won't now. So this is called get over your damn self. This chick, Romy Newstad, she is actually a, um, Rodan and Fields person, but she has so much great stuff in here. And I actually am going to give you another assignment. Okay, so this is, I'm not gonna tell you what it, also, what it said. You can get the book at your library or listen to it. But I thought this was really helpful, especially you're hearing me say these things. Like, oh my God, business activity trackers, helping people, how, like what, all these things. It's super overwhelming. So I want you to remember, you just do, this business is simple, okay? It's just a few things we do over and over. You're a product of the product, which means you're doing a workout. You're drinking the shake. You're using unicorn juice. You post about it in your Insta stories. You post about it in your groups. You post about it in my group, if that's where you're at. You to share. Like, you know, you found a great sale on pants or you just had this amazing latte. You just share authentically, not because you're selling, but because it's rocked your socks, okay? We also do personal development. This is a non-negotiable. If you have to choose between personal development and your workout, I want you to do personal development. You should never have to choose because quite frankly, you could listen to a podcast while you're folding laundry or while you're driving somewhere or like it's just five, 10 minutes, five, 10 pages every single day. It is you literally doing the emotional hygiene workout business that you need to be doing. Personal development, not an option. If you wanna make it in this business, you have to do it. And then we invite people. Okay? You just have conversations. You're human with them. You create conversations. You're posting about it on social media. That's what we do as coaches. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't think you have to have some amazing system. Don't think you have to know exactly what you're talking about. You lead with heart. You lead with enthusiasm. And then you freaking like talk to people. That's what we do. So you need to know, like if you're going to treat this like a hobby, it'll pay you like a hobby. It's going to grow like a hobby. So that means if you aren't really clear, like why you're here, if you're not super crystal clear and excited about your vision, it's gonna be really hard to get people to buy in. It's gonna be really hard to do it on the days you don't want to, kind of like our workouts. Like there's gonna be days I don't freaking want to. I don't really want to work my business today. I have a thousand things happening. My mother-in-law's coming, I've been cleaning my house. I am so freaking tired. I just wanna take a day off, but I have a vision. And so my vision is having me plug in here. My vision is that gut nudge. Like Sarah, you need to connect with all these new people and you need to like shine the light for all the coaches, no matter how long they've been there. So that if this is their moment in time, they know what to do because it's overwhelming as shit. This business is simple, but it is not easy. Okay. So I want you to get really, really clear. This is your personal development challenge for me today. Okay. So I'm going to type this out in a comment or something somewhere. I don't know. Um, number one, Okay, you're gonna get out a journal, 79 cent notepad from Walmart, doesn't have to be fancy, 
Don't say, oh, I have to wait and get my book of dreams. No, you don't, you just start. Number one, what is your why? So like, what's your why? And your why isn't just because you want, you know, you, you want to like be a better mom for your kids. Like that's great, but like why? Is it because you need to create income so that if something happens to your spouse, you can take care of yourself no matter what? Is it so that you have a purpose in your life that you can transform other, help other people shine the light so that they can find hope again? Like, I don't know what your why is, but get super, get deep, go deep. Get the book at the library and she'll help you figure that out. So number one, what is your why? Peel your onion, get like really gritty, like emotionally attached. You don't need to cry, but like, you know, because I want to pay for Christmas presents isn't enough to get you out of bed in the morning. It's not enough to have you keep sending those messages. It's not enough to keep working when it's, it's, it's an option. Like don't treat it like an option. Okay. Number two, why is this so important to you? Get super specific here. How do you see this changing your life, affecting your family, helping you get where you want to be long-term? Number three, if you don't achieve your why, What is the pain you'll experience? In other words, what's the cost you'll pay in your life by not taking action to build this business? Like not taking action today. Instead of this is so hard, this will be really hard if I don't do this. There is no plan B. You hear from coaches over and over, the ones who've made this, like their back is against the wall. They put it on their credit card and they had no money in the bank. They had to get their investment back. And I see so many of you, you have the heart. And I know you have it in you to do it, but it's kind of a, well, if it works out. Well, if, you know, I've planted a few seeds, I've talked to a few people, and if they get back to me, then I'll hit Success Club. It's not an option. It's not an option. Like, if you want to build this, if you want to be on stage, if you want to be a million dollar earner, which so many of you want that, you want that freedom, you want that, you want to, to just, mm, you have to go deeper and you have to do more. It's uncomfortable, but, The more you do it, the more you do the uncomfortable thing, the easier it gets and the better you get. So really, so journal about that. Like what will you and what will you and your family miss out on if you don't do this? Like what will you lose if you don't go deep? What will you lose out on if you don't? How will it affect your confidence and your self-esteem? Question number four, look ahead five years into the future. If you don't achieve your why, where will you be? And what will you have given up because you didn't follow through and take action on what's important? So uh, I don't have any family in this group, so I'll be really honest. My family, my parents struggled. I remember them fighting over, you know, do we get groceries or do we get, do we pay the power bill? And that's how I grew up. You know, like you, I'd go out to eat, I'd go on a date. It was like, what's the cheapest thing on the menu? I don't want to inconvenience anyone. Like, I don't ever want to live that way. I don't ever want to be mediocre. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to struggle and worry. I don't want that. And I don't want my kids to feel that way. The, oh, that's too expensive. I don't really need new shoes. Or I feel really bad for asking because I need this. Or I really want to do that, but like that's going to put mom and dad in a bind. That's part of my why. I don't ever, ever want to live the life that my entire family lives. They live in a place of fear. They live in a small place. Not small as in like their town, but just like we stay where it's comfortable, where it's safe. Even if we are victims and struggling and that's part of their identity and I don't want that. That's part of my why is that I want to create the freedom so that no matter what happens, if my marriage does fall apart 25 years in or if he loses his job or something happens, like I want to know I have that security and that freedom that I don't have to rely on anybody and that my kids will never have to grow up that way. Like they will appreciate what they have and they will have respect for all that, but they're not going to feel this like super, ugh, I feel so, I feel like I'm imposing. I feel like this basic, simple need is a huge inconvenience. And so that's part of my why. Like I'm here because I love this. I wouldn't be a coach if I didn't believe in it. If I didn't have personal success with it, I wouldn't have said continued four years into coaching if like my vision wasn't strong. And I know that's my why. I know that I will be a top 10 coach. I know that I will be part of the Legacy Club, which is a million dollar earner club. Like I know those things to be true. I don't know what the timeline looks like because I can't do that alone. I need you guys. I need the other people that have yet to come to step into my life and to do this with me, whatever your vision is. But like there's no, there's zero doubt 
I have no doubt. Like I believe in this company. I believe in our products. I believe in Shakeology. I believe in my purpose to do this. So if you don't have that kind of like, yes, I believe in myself. I believe in my ability to make this work. I believe in my ability to see it through because it won't be a one year thing. It won't be like, I'm going to do, I'm going to use my business activity tracker and talk to four people a day. And then all of a sudden I've made it. That's not how it works. This is a business that thrives off of initial sacrifice, just like your fitness journey. You got to cut out the cookies. You got to cut out the treats. You got to cut out the game of Thrones. You got to cut out the, like the scrolling on social media because it's keeping you small. It's keeping you stuck. And so I want you, if you're serious about this, if you keep saying, raising your hand, you're like, yeah, I'm in it to win it. Awesome. Let's freaking do it. And if that's not where you're at, I don't want you to feel bad. Like, oh my God, how do I tell her? It's okay. This is your journey. Just like your fitness journey. You can hit pause at any time and you can also hit the gas at any time. You are the leader in your life. You are the leader in your life. It is no one else's responsibility to grab it by the cojones and go all in. If that's what your if that's what your heart is, if that's what your purpose is. If you're just here because you want to make money and you want to get a bunch of medals or whatever, I don't know, freaking backpacks and shit, probably not the best bet for you. This business is built on heart and vision and hustle and consistency. Consistency. If I sc- if I pull you up on Instagram, am I going to see your workout? Am I going to see your workouts every day? If you're not consistent, your social media is your storefront. And so I don't want you to be a pimp. I don't want you to just post about, you know, bell peppers and like Pio, but I want you to share your truth and your journey and how you grow and how it's blessed you and how it's transforming you and how it's freaking hard. Share that to attract the right people and to get credibility, because this, there's so many coaches. I mean, how many coaches do we have? Like over 300,000? You have to be credible. And to be credible doesn't mean that you have any kind of rank next to your name. Doesn't mean that you've had some huge success with your, with your weight loss or your fitness journey. It just means that you believe it, and you're in it, and you're consistent. People want to belong to something that has momentum and that is has lasting staying power. So be that coach. And if you haven't been that coach up until now, you can always draw the line in the sand. Every single day is a fresh freaking start. But I'm asking you to be consistent and I'm asking you to get really clear about your why. And I'm asking you to figure out why this matters. If it's a hobby, cool. I totally appreciate you. I'm grateful that you're part of our tribe. I want you to keep showing up to your journey and getting your discount and doing what feels good. But if you want more, but you're not putting out the work, this is your wake-up call, my friends. Friday afternoon wake-up call. What else? Oh, okay, final thing. Um, You can stop watching now unless you're interested in the new planner. So I've tried a lot of planners. Um, I have a lot of things that I figured after four years. I have whiteboards that I write names on. I have my super fancy notebook system. I have a morning gratitude journal I use. Um... But I've been watching, I've been watching people talk about this Rise Up Planner. And I actually had a conversation with Moira, didn't even know who she was, on last year's trip, last year's Success Club trip. And we were ordering coffee and she ordered a ristretto something and, and they didn't know what it was. And so I, for some reason we had a conversation and it just stuck in my mind. I don't know why. She's an amazing person. And I actually went up to her at this last summit and I, and I told her that. And I was like, I'm just really grateful that you share. Like, I don't follow her all the time because she doesn't super resonate with me, but she's just got a heart. She's, I love her. So anyway, she came out with this fancy planner and I really wanted it, but it sat in my Amazon cart for a while because I was like, another planner. Like, I have Brendan Bouchard's. I have all these other ones. Like, you just never get consistent, Sarah. Like, you don't need all these fancy tools to get momentum on your journey. Sound familiar? But I really feel like this is what I need to get. So I finally decided $27. It's an investment in my journey. It's an investment in my business. Like if this helps me get traction, then let's do it. So I'm going to flip the phone and I'm just going to take you through it so you can look at it and see what you think. Okay. So I kind of wish, I think maybe on her website, they actually have this in a, um, what is it called? You know, like a spire, like a, a thing like that. Okay. 
ignore my man hands. I haven't painted them in a while. Okay, so she talks about in here, she gives, she talks about who she is. Then she talks about like how to, there's different exercises to come up with like clarity, vision. Um, and then there's a space for every quarter. We're currently in quarter four. For those of you that don't know, it's okay. No worries. Okay. What else? Um, I just got it last night, so I haven't really looked at it. Developing your brand, designing your avatar. This is, your avatar is you. Top 10 qualities of your avatar. This is who you're making posts to on social media. Who do you want? 40 spaces for your dream team. Like, who do you love? How to reverse engineer your goals. All the area in here. What do you need to do? Monthly, weekly, daily. And she talks about it. She gives her tips for success. Planning. How to plan. Okay, she gives you some samples. Oh, this is cool. She gives you samples. What your days should look like. Time blocking is really important. And I've been time blocking using my phone, using alarms on my phone. And then it's like, okay, I have 20 minutes to get this shit done. This is your window. Make it freaking happen. How to master your energy. Okay, so here's month one. Here we go. You've got a monthly goals and focus. Your, your weekly over, your daily overview, monthly enrollments, business goals, customer hot list, business hot list, and then your weekly, your top three yearly goals, your top three monthly, weekly, most important, and then the actions you take, how to win your week. And then this is, I guess, a place where you could write down people's names. What else is in here? That's it. I think it's really brilliant and it is perfect for, it's specifically for this business. I mean, she's a coach and a top coach at that, that too. And then at the back, there's like a, a place for notes. But I just was like, this is really clever because this is how, oh, here's like team calls in the back. Corporate training calls and team calls, places to write notes. This business, like I have hit success club just about every single month. I think I've missed three months in the four years I've been a coach. Let me say that again. I've missed Success Club three, maybe four times in the four years I've been a coach because I make it a non-negotiable. It's not a, I invited some people and if they follow up or if it follow, works out, cool. No, it's like I will talk to as many people as I need to to make it happen. And I didn't think I was going to hit it last month. I was like legit struggling there. Um, but I did at the very last second. I hit Success Club. So don't make it an option. Like, kind of like you hitting emerald or diamond. It's not an option. It's just a decision. Like, you're going to do the work. You're going to show up. You're going to track. And I hit Success Club never, very rarely, from like the, hey, I saw you like my post. Do you want to join my group? No. It's the people I've literally been inviting for months, years, following up. And the people who've joined me in the past, I follow up with them again because like that's what I always tell people. Like you don't have to keep purchasing stuff to participate in my groups. I want you to get momentum on your journey, whatever that looks like. And so if that means you try it and it's not for you, you're still welcome to participate. Don't pimp your product if you're doing something else. Like the freaking Thrive sticker people, no. But um, yeah, like it's just follow up. And so this is perfect. This is a great place to have everything here. And then you can look back. Like it tells the story of your journey. So that is your Friday wrap up. So much information. It's, this planner is called Rise Up. It's the Moira Kukuba one. I really, really like it. I'm excited to do the work and use it. And um, another great person to, for training, podcast, whatever, use your words, is Melanie Mitro. She was the top coach for a couple, like three or four years. And she has Women Inspiring Women. It's a podcast. And it's really helpful. So I highly recommend you go check that out if you need some, some help. She actually just did a how to use this journal and how to do time blocking um, because you shouldn't be spending hours a day. And I know it's really easy to, to go down a rabbit hole, but like it's all about working smarter, not harder. And, um, and having your plan, which means you know who you're gonna talk to. So for me, that means every single day I send birthday messages and I send friend anniversary messages. Those are things, it's non-negotiable. Those are great opportunities to start conversations with people you maybe haven't talked to in a year. 
And then if you're sharing about your journey on social media, they're gonna scope you out. And then it turns into a conversation, okay? And if you get stuck in your conversations, use the group, message your coach. Like, I'm happy to help. Tony Furtado, if you're in his group, he's a rock star at that. So anyways, my friends, that is Friday. We have a sneak peek every single Friday. I would encourage you to go over there, to invite to it, to go over there, check it out, to participate in it, please, and thank you. Share your story. Um, I'm gonna go live there in a little bit, but that group is called Coaching with the Positive Vibe Tribe. Request to join it if you're not already in there. And just remember that this is your journey. It doesn't need to look like anyone else's. It shouldn't. So if you're getting distracted watching other people and you're wondering why you're not at that level or why it's not happening for you, put your freaking blinders on and do your own work. Do the personal development. Be consistent as a mofo on your social media. Be relatable. Be fun. Be you. Do not be a beach body pimp. And, but also like, don't be afraid to invite Jessica is brand new and she's every day she's doing videos and she's talking about what she's doing. So like, that's not to me, that's not pimping. She's just talking about what she's doing and she's inviting people to join her. And I think if, if more of us, myself included could just like get over the fact of like, people will judge me and people might be like, reject me. They're not rejecting you. They're just not ready or they don't have enough information. Okay. So that's why we follow up. All right, my friends make it count today.